Welcome to my channel. This is Sam, and I'm playing Red Dead Redemption 2. So, the last video, we have done what? One of the John Cannon. He was given a task to loot a rail wagon. So, he had to put oil in the line and put it in the air. He had to put oil in the wagon. He had to put oil in the wagon and put it in the air. और एक जगह हम लोग गए वैलेंटाइन सिटी के थोड़ा पीछे तरफ था जहाँ पे मेरा बाउंटी थ्री मिल गई वहाँ पे एक आदमी से मिला और डेट ये कभी कभी हो जाता है मैं भूल जाता हूँ बैटरी में खेल रहा हूँ Now I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry, I don't have it right now. Well then, I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn money. Bitch. साला रॉबरी किया मैंने डेप कलेक्ट करने आया This 
mission view. Maybe I have to meet up with the guy there and then do the work. This black box is something. There's a black dot behind me. That is a truth. Hello, boy. Australian Shepherd. It's okay, girl. Black dot showing. Wow, it disappeared like that. On our left, there is another dot. I guess we we'll check it out. Oh, uh, howdy! Hi there, mister! My recent crimes is unavailable, <laughs> unavailable for my recent crimes. This is ridiculous, man. Okay, I need to remove these markers, and place one marker here. Now it's going to kill his enemy. They were kidnapping in God. My legs all numb. Please hurry. What happened? My horse collapsed. I, I, I don't know why. It's my friends. I'll just. Oh, yes. Yes. Looks like I don't How need a man's help after all. came to help, I did not find the bomb. Man, this game is like... Oh, man. What am I now? Was it the karma out of this that we had stopped? Otherwise, I would never have stopped.
I think these are main claims or something. Vamos ver. Neither can I use the skin, yeah. neither the meat, not the meat. So I will just move on. at the wagon when you can. Sure. See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. Hurry up! Get a wall time! I'm going to make a cap in the cap. Shorts can be in the cap. Back. Black dot jump over. Well done, Arthur. You found the Irish Terrier. Sadly, he's just a younger version of you. Please don't say that to me, Dutch. <laughs> oh, it's true. <laughs> it's true. Mm -hmm. 
Hey Arthur, come here a minute. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you, and, well, you know his father's useless. Okay. Thank you. We work with Jack. Jack, I was going to tell you that you can't make a push or switch. You can't do it. You can't do it. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you started to earn your key. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. This has the mission to yeah. <laughs> Lift you on when you're ready. You all right, girl? I'm gonna use 
you some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. See him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. Oh, You'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. Pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Stick at things, Jack. I know. I think you've got a bite. Look. There we go. I see. I see. Don't do me to Well, this is clearly the spot for Bluegill. Arthur. I know. Born as hell. But then, something happens. You can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit, wait, try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Hmm. Huh. Hey, look at this. The what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphaned street kids seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000 for me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so. Because I heard 
guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent. Uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not playing the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> You enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid, while you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Well, let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> it's getting late, Jack. Your mother will be worried. Let's head back. disagreeable man, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. I just hope this kid doesn't die in the crossfire man. That's why you got all of us. Like them. things. Yeah, how about that? Story, I don't know. Right? Yeah, I got it. Not our mark. Let's get the kid. Well, did you like fishing? It was. Was it that given? Okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. Box over there. You see it? The luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name, Ross. Milton and Ross, and, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency, and they know about the train, and they know we're here. Well, you followed back here. No, they know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? We need to relocate. I say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. So the train mission is postponed for now. 
so already 30 minutes let's go here this chat mission will have to wait Guy. Hello, Arthur. Night is also busy. until this uh, thing is pulled off people stop looking yeah. up looking out for us like a bounty thing five thousand dollars ridiculous man Just what I'm doing right now. Okay, going straight, straight. have the but stuff the ability to do this job and Arthur said I'll be talking to this fucker yeah. when I ended the video maybe this is the whole time right. I don't know is maximum I don't think I can exceed its stand up the red marks on the map so the bounty hunters and uh, oh they got the news they just swooped in they got out in the right time 
because I was looking at the map. Now it's the game on. The one game just went away. That's an interesting way of putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen. Uh, He's rough and ready. We're just... I saw this in here. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Oh, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. I want to eat that. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal the stagecoach from Seamus's old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Easy! Yeah. So, what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. How far is this place? Again. Yeah. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. Oh, he used to see her around all the time, but now... Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. Easy. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. You've got binoculars, don't you? You see anyone? Nope. Okay. I reckon we could do it now. Sneak in, and I'll get the coach. You can try the house. Or wait until morning when I'll head over, distract them by putting on a little show. While you sneak into the house, find what you can, and then get the stagecoach. What do you think? Let's do it now. Let's do it now. All right. I reckon we're ready. Let's go.
Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet. The morning one seems easier. Let's see. Yeah, boy. the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece and it's a good night's work. Yeah. 
Yeah. So what were you able to lift from the house? A few bits and pieces. Nothing too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye, and as usual, he did not flinch. Exactly. How long do you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. I hope it's not stashed in town like we did in Blackwater. Even if we had to dump the money from the ferry, we could have at least got the rest out if it was hidden someplace else. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. <clears throat> Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Jose. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. यही काम है भाई एक्स्ट्रा चीज लेके उसको बेचो एक्स्ट्रा चीज लेके उसको डाल दो Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more and don't forget to subscribe. This is it for now. देख रहे हो यहाँ पे stolen wagons. Visit a fence to sell valuables. Buy illicit goods. Talismans and trinkets. सब करेंगे. आज के लिए इतना ही. मिलते हैं आप लोगों से बाद में हैव अ गुड डे गाइस एंड स्टे ट्यून फॉर मोर बाय गाइस